Hello! How are you doing? It's me, we're back. Hope you're well. Yes, so I fixed the problem I mentioned at the end of the last episode. Um, doing this little dip down seems to work just fine. Really good. Um, I haven't had any problems with the carts not getting back to um, the start position or you know, bouncing off the end wall and then being stuck. So, um, yes. That is perfect. Also, I've removed a row of pistons because I counted 12 rows. Obviously, I neglected to take into account that I'm using sticky pistons and there's a block attached to the piston. So, you actually only get 11 rows out of this if you're using sticky pistons. Oh well. Um, but, um, hello. <coughs> it does mean if I do have any issues, I can now get down both sides, but not really what I intended. But this works perfectly. Um, I haven't done anything in here, but uh, yeah, today we're running 13W02B. And uh, so I'm going to go to the nether and um, find me some quartz. Uh, I may bring you along for little bits if there's any adventure, but uh, yes, I <laughs> may see you in the nether, or you may see me next at base with a big stack of quartz, hopefully. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go into the nether. No, of course I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, big ice cube. Look at that. It's amazing. I've never had so much ice in this world. Um, how wonderful. How absolutely wonderful. I put this little roof of half slabs on top because an enderman left a block up there and I didn't want anything spawning however mm, I can't really put anything over the top of this to stop them doing that because it will stop the ice freezing oh well uh, I don't think endermen can put blocks on slabs I've never seen a block placed upon a slab you know just uh, from one that I've not done on myself, you know, it'd just be floating there like that. So I kind of suspect they can't. However, if you're anything like me, I know what you're wanting to see. Let's do it. And there we have it. That's amazing. Should probably clear this bit out as well. Oh! Oh dear, that serves me right for not paying attention to my tool degradation. <laughs> still seem to have it. Multiplayer style lag comes to the rescue, eh? Might be able to repair that. We'll see what happens when it goes in the anvil. There we go. That is a satisfactory amount of ice. I am very happy with that. 
Fantastic. Right. Let's get back across to the base. Okay. Time to go into the nether for real. Um, yeah. What I'm going to do is... Oh, oh ah, let me out. Oh. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go, actually going to go to the end farm and do a bit of repairing and whatnot. And then I'm going to dig up into the ceiling and pick a direction and dig for a thousand blocks. Something like that. So, yes, I will see you after my repairs. Okay, enchanting done. And what I'm going to do is, I think, we'll expand this room here. Can't expand it too much because the our existing rail track is there and we've got some wiring. Hmm. But I'm going to expand this room and uh, let's think, am I going to, how am I going to make staircase is pretty ghetto so oh actually I should say um, I was asked a while back uh, what texture pack I use and um, it's just a clear glass texture pack but I couldn't find that one so I've actually um, with the latest snapshot texture packs um, have changed considerably um, everything now has its own individual image file so I've made my own texture pack um, good thing is this should hold true forever now this should work forever um, unless they change the format again doesn't matter about new blocks or anything because it will just pick up the default texture for anything not in the pack and in fact my pack only has the uh, clear glass panes and glass blocks and also I've lightened the background of this because I never liked the black background in this screen. Um, and I've also changed the title screen slightly, although that didn't come out great. However, I will be including a link to download this however, um, in the description of the video, but you will have to run the uh, snapshot in order to use it. Um, and also, a few times I've been asked about a world download and I intend to put one of those in um, the video description, a link to one of those in the video description as well, so you can have a play. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll spawn, you'll probably, if you load it up in single player, you'll probably be where I last am when I make the upload. Um, if you spawn in my little spawn village, village then, well, kind of good luck finding the rest of this but um yeah i ought to do something about that anyway uh i think what i'll do is i'll just staircase up for the moment and i'll sort something better when uh at a later point uh anyway so time to get going Woohoo! oh my goodness that's one problem with sprinting through the nether. Please don't die. Please don't die. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. oh. yeah, I hit a lava stream. Thank goodness for ender pearls. Okay, so we're at X minus 1000. So this seems like a good point to start making our descent. Now hopefully we're not just going to come out at the top of a great big cavern or something. If we get lucky we'll hit like one of the pillars that you see throughout the nether and then kind of come out the side of that. Keep an eye on our Z. Uh, I know our Y coordinate, sorry, not our Z. Whoop! 
There we go, that's what I was talking about. Ah, ha, ha, there it is. <laughs> okay, let's see, where are we? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, I think that's probably our best bet. Let's just see. Oh! No, come back! Oh my goodness, right, I think we're going to end up building. Unless... No, right. Okay. Mm, I will build a way down. Yeah. This will be fun. Oh, in fact, you know what? Hopefully, we'll be good with that. Boom. Right. Oh, lots of glowstone. Okay, our first bit of nether quartz. Excellent. Right. However, we'll be silk touching this so we can fortune it when we get back. That's not what I wanted to throw away. It's all over the place. Fantastic. Nice. Oh. Sweet. A fortress. That's... That's very strange. It's kind of... A chunk chunk boundary error Ooh, lag <coughs> oh, where are you You know you should get chests in nether fortresses. That'd be cool. That really is a very malformed nether fortress, isn't it? It's all over the is it just not oh maybe there's a uh F three A? That's not that much better. <laughs> oh well. Onwards. No, it's mine. <coughs> and so it's this. That's mine. And that's mine. And that's mine. And 
That's mine. And all this is mine. But not that. I don't want that. Aha! There's our little beacon tower. We've gone all the way around in a big circle. Nearly time to go home. Just one more block. One more block. One more block. One. Go on, just one more. Okay, home. Oh, the speed! That is so awesome. <coughs> so awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. In fact, I realise I have never I have never made one of these. Look at that! <laughs> well, that's quite good, actually. Maybe? A little cap over the top? Fantastic. Right. How much nether quartz do you think we'll get from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, eight stacks and eleven? Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> it's a very large number. Uh, I'm not even sure. I'll probably get to sky limit. Um, let's go somewhere a bit flatter. Yeah. Oh, by the way, when I was... Com where have you come from? Where, where have you come? Have you swum across the... Uh, go away. When I complained... A was it a couple of episodes back about lag? Uh, I found I had mm, several hundred iron golems waiting to be killed, so that solved that when I was uh, working on the sheep farm. So, okay. I'm on top of the world! Okay, so that is four blocks shy of three stacks. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yep, and I had eight and a bit, so... But I'm now at build height, so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's see how much that gets us. Trusty old Fortune 500. Let's go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a half a stack, but my goodness, look at the experience I got from that. That's, um, that's quite a bit of experience. Okay. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Oh, 
Okay, we're on our last tower of nether quartz ore. <laughs> and, um, yeah, the experience keeps piling up. Um, but while we're on our way down, um, I would like to just mention a couple of people. Um, and there are a couple of stars out there. Absolute stars. <laughs> um, basically, uh, there's a guy called Midnight Designer. Um, and uh, another guy called... Now, give me a second. Francisco... Oh, I'm sorry how, uh, about this, but Francisco Mag Mag Magalhaes? Mag Mag Magalhaes, I think? I'm really sorry, I've no idea. Um, you'll have to send me a phonetic spelling of your name. But those two guys are currently working their way through this entire series. Um, I'm stunned. Um, really, really um, flattered. So, thank you guys. You are stars. Gentlemen and scholars. However, let's have a look at our hall. Look at that. That's amazing. So, we're going to want to get Let's have a play with this. Um, it's the obviously you can make the new comparator with this, and you can make the daylight sensor, which I'm sure will be lots of fun. Um, let's pop up here, grab some stuff. Do do do. No torches. Um, I'll drop a bit in there for the moment. Sticks. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, come on, inventory. Okay. So, let's grab some smooth stone as well. In fact, Let's just drop this close down off. Oh, you're joking me. Oh, give us a second. Okay, sorry about that. Right, let's pop that across there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Those across there, and boom. Um. Comparator. Um. There we go. Excellent. Very excited. Now, what's the... Is it wood? I think it might be wood. Let's... Get some inventory space. No. Ok. 
Okay, so if it's not wood, is it stone? No. Is it maybe slabs? There's um, the hoppers, which I'm no doubt going to play with very soon. But one of the things that excites me the most are these things. and have a look at these blocks. Are these not the sexiest blocks in all of Minecraft? Look at those. They are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited to start building with these. Quite expensive when you consider how much uh, nether quartz they take up. I mean that's four stacks to get a stack of blocks. Don't worry this isn't the last of my quartz. I've still got some in a chest. I dropped some off. So what did I make the least of? The chiseled. Was that the that's the pillar. Oh I need a crafting bench. Uh, never mind. But Oh yeah, they're, they're, these are just really excited, really, really excited. Yeah. one thing else that I'm going to show you. Or oh, actually two things. One thing I've noticed. These buttons, listen, they don't work anymore. Yeah. Which also probably means actually, or oh, I hope not cause it's going to be a much bigger pain. Did it put the piston straight under? Oh, phew. What did I just call? <laughs> what did I just call? Still haven't filled this up. 
I don't think there was anything in there actually. No. Good. So yeah, those buttons don't. Obviously, they they can't be bud switches. But these are bud switches. This one as well. I should hear a piston. Nothing. Which is a shame. Um. But let's grab. Now this is an idea that I've had for a while. Uh, I'm going to need more than that. Right, let me just grab some stuff together. Okay, right. So this is an idea that I had um, pretty much as soon as I realized the comparator had a certain functionality. And if you follow my brand new blog, which is one good way of making sure you don't miss um, my uploads. <laughs> um, e I wrote a little article on it um, as to why on, on this particular functionality. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Comparator. some blocks on top of that and I forgot levers never mind we'll make some This is just a little proof of concept. Um, is that going to give us enough room? One, two, three. Yeah, that will give us enough room. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's just use the fancy block, shall we? Side so two, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three. Yes. Okay. And then should work. So if we flick this one. I know why. Right, so... Right, so that one gives us that. That, beautiful, right. Can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> it's not hard. Boop, boop, boop. 
excellent now there are various ways you can wire this up I've just done it through powering the blocks but if you use loads of repeaters well 15 repeaters in fact you can and um, another four comparators I reckon you can move this out and get a flush floor and a floor in here um, and your enchanting table in the middle in fact, let's just put a bit of a floor in here and the simplest most controllable multi um, adjustable enchanting setup ever look at that precise control you want one bookshelf you've got one bookshelf you want two you've got two you want however many that is you get however many that is I mean it's just a matter that that is why the comparator is the best thing to happen to redstone for a long time that's just awesome really really awesome analog redstone which is technically has been around I mean for a, like, a long time but the fact that you can now move that analog s signal elsewhere is is just amazing I'm going to do some cool stuff with this I am positive of it and that's before you get into the fact that it can tell you if chest is full or even that it can compare to redstone signals all it's doing here is repeating the um, signal and retaining the signal strength unlike a repeater which sets it back to 15 so that is just brilliant so there you go guys the simplest way to get a fully adjustable enchanting setup however that's not what I'll be doing oh no all these levers I want to have as buttons and I want the selection panel to be a nine uh, a three by five panel of buttons I think yeah um, but that's a project for another day I just wanted to put that out there so if anyone claims you see anyone saying they invented this well they may have thought of it but I got there first <laughs> oh, it's not difficult I'm sure some, lots of other people have thought about this in fact, I'm amazed I've not seen a video on this system already. So, anyway. Uh, we'll get to building um, either this system, if I can get it ready, or something pretty with ease. In fact, tell me. Do you want to see Super Deluxe Enchanting setup? Obviously, I'll need a new building for it, so there will be a building involved don't know if it will be made out of this or not or do you want me to build something with ease because I'm excited to do either really really excited to do either because um, these are by far my favorite blocks in the game better than the redstone block even which technically is great um, the texture is not quite what I would have wanted I would have wanted it to look like a red diamond block I think that would have been awesome but I mean it's pretty cool anyway but these are much prettier these are brilliant love them and they're not quite white which is lovely it's a lovely creamy color so um yeah haha <laughs> tell me what you reckon prettiness or technical because putting that into a key button pad is going to be complicated possibly even too complicated to show in a video um, but we'll see um, yes but anyway <laughs> sorry uh, probably going to have to edit the hell out of this video in order to get it 
to a decent uh, get it to a decent size, um, decent length even. You know, of course. What time it ah uh <laughs> it's also doubles as a fancy clock with the daylight sensor. Sure I could build quite quite a respectable clock out of that actually. Not this way, but maybe set it vertically in a cliff face or on a building, on a tower. Yeah, it could do that. That could work. Imagine this is the clock face. Oop. There you go. All the pistons up, and then they'll go all the way down as the sun goes down the other way. Yeah, I could do a clock. Tell me what you think. Tell me about stuff, things. What are you excited about this for this uh, snapshot? Because this is promising. Although it's breaking stuff like the bud switches, this is promising to be a pretty freaking awesome patch. Really awesome. There'll be loads to fix, but... Well, <laughs> just look at this. <laughs> I really like this. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so... Until next time, guys. Yay, you know. Take care of yourselves. <laughs>